that the night is soft and bright and without wind and the moon hangs still over the roofs and kitchen gardens showing every mountain clear in the distance oh my lady every lane is quiet now and night lights glow in the windows only here and there you sleep for sleep came easily to you in your still room no worries trouble you nor can you imagine what a wound you opened in my heart yes you sleep while well, I'll come to my window to salute this sky that seems so kind and eternal, all commanding nature, who created me for suffering. I deny you hope, she told me, even hope. Your eyes will not be bright for any cause except with weeping. This was a holiday. Tonight you rest from play and maybe in your sleep you dream of all the men you please today, and those who pleased you too. But I don't come to mind, not that I hope to. So I ask myself, what remains in life for me? And I fall down on the ground and rage and shake, horrific days, at such a tender age. On the road, not far from me, I hear the lonely song of a workman coming late from his evening out to his poor home. And my heart is stricken to think how everything in this world passes and barely leaves a trace. Look, the holiday today is gone. The work day follows. After our day of rest, and time makes off with every human thing. Where is the clamor of those ancient people? Where is the renown of our famed ancestors and the great empire of their Rome, her armies, and the din she made on land and sea? Everything is peace and quiet now. The world is calm and speaks no more of him. In my young years, in the time of life when we wait impatiently for Sunday. Afterwards, I'd lie awake unhappy, and late at night, a song heard on the road, dying note by note as it passed by, would pierce my heart the same way even then.